Let's find the molar mass for acetic acid. So there are a number of different ways you'll see acetic acid written. Here are three of the most common ways. These are all the same. They each have the same number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Let's go with this one right here since the carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens are all together. So to find the molar mass here for acetic acid, we look for carbon right here on the periodic table, 12.01, and the units are grams per mole. I won't write that now. Let's write that at the end two carbon atoms, so we multiply that times two. Hydrogen, 1.01 units or grams per mole. We have four of those. And then oxygen, that's over here, 16.00 grams per mole. We have two oxygen atoms, so we multiply by two. What we'll do is we'll multiply two times 12.01 four times 1.01 and the two times the 16.00, and then we'll add those numbers together. When we do that, we get 60.06, and the units are grams per mole. My periodic table, it rounds to two decimal places here. So if you have a different periodic table, you might get a slightly different answer out here. What this number means is that if I have 60.06 grams of acetic acid, that's going to be one mole of acetic acid. Or if you're given one mole of acetic acid, you'll know that it's going to be 60.06 grams. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for acetic acid. Thanks for watching.